Welcome to Austrian Stocks in English presented by Palfinger, the new and weekly English spoken summary for the Austrian stock market. Positioned every Sunday in the mostly German language podcast Christian Drastil, Wiener Börse, Sport, Musik und mehr. I'm Christian, the host of this podcast, and I'm now happy to proudly announce the last four of our 12th stock market tournament. In quarterfinals, Österreichische Post defeated Andretz, Pira Mobility uh, defeated Verbund, these both will clash next week. VIG defeated Warimbex and Tiaimo defeated Strabag. From Monday to Wednesday we will have our semi-finals and the finals from Thursday and Friday. And then we have the winner of our 12th stock market tournament. Post and uh, VIG were former winners of this tournament. If you want to take a look um, at the duels, you can watch bursesocial.com slash tournament. The news of the week will be presented now by the absolutely smart Allison. We also had a fine performance in ATX total return this week. Thank you, Christian, for calling me absolutely smart. Not absolutely, but relatively smart was the performance of ADX total return in week 29. The index gained to 83% to 6.208 points. Year to date, the ADX DR is now at minus 29%. Up to now, there were 69 days with a positive and 73 with a negative gain. From the year high, we are 24, 76% away. From the low, 6, 91%. Statistically the best weekday so far 2022 is Wednesday with 0, 37%, the weakest is Thursday with minus 0, 77%, and these were the best performers this week, Borag plus 13, 65% in front of it and S plus 10, 97% and Vostalbine plus 7, 53%, and the following stocks performed worst, Marin owned Biotech minus 4, 76% in front of a Dico Bank minus 3. 32% and Frequentis minus minus 3, 24%. And these were the news. Valneva announced that the European Commission, EC has approved an amendment to the advance purchase agreement it signed in November 2021 for Valneva's inactivated whole virus COVID-19 vaccine, VLA 2001. The amendment will be signed after a mandatory five-day period during which member states can opt out. Under this amendment, The member states' purchases will consist of 1.25 million doses of Law 2001 and 2022, with the option to purchase an equivalent quantity later this year for delivery in 2022. This amendment follows remediation discussions based on the EC's notice of intent to terminate the initial APA for Law 2001 doses in 2022 and optional doses for 2023. Andritz has received an order from Guangxi Sun Paper to supply four stock preparation systems for its tissue machines PM9-12 in Bihe, Guangxi Province, China. And we saw a second Andritz deal. Grand Blue Bioenvironment has successfully started up to Andritz shredders at its mills in Jinjiang City and Xiaogan City in China. Marin owned Biotech AG announced that it has agreed with Nice and Green SA to currently not issue further tranches as part of the Convertible Notes Funding Program, CNFP. That the companies had entered on October 4, 2021. Marin Ohm believes that with the current situation at the stock markets and its stable financial position, it should reduce the dilutive impact on Marin Ohm shareholders. And now bye bye from Allison. And Christian, we wish you a great week. Hear you next Sunday. Listen to this bubble thing on